Hello. Okay, so today I'm going to do a video on how I define my curls. Um, so last night I washed my hair and um, I detangled it in the shower. Uh, I didn't twist it or anything, just went to bed. So it got really, really flat. And I actually was wearing a wig today as well, so I'm wearing this stocking cap. So I'm going to take it off. So what I'm going to use today, so I've got my water. I'm going to be using some Hawaiian Silky Gel Activator and smooth and fine, uh, smooth and shine activator gel as well. Usually I'll use one or the other, but I actually find they work really well together. I'll put this one on first and then put this on um, the curls to define them. I'm also going to use this brush, sort of like a brush comb. This really helps to define them as well. Okay, so I'm going to start by spraying my hair with some water. As you can see, how much shrinkage I had. Okay. And now I'm going to put in some of the Hawaiian Silky. So, what I do is I just put, I don't know if you can see that all that much, throughout all my hair. And this actually, it's a very moisturizing gel. It doesn't harden. So I'm just using it to moisturize my hair a little bit. And the um, this is the Hawaiian Silky, the Smooth and Shine. I'm just putting a little bit more. The Smooth and Shine gel, it's not hard. It doesn't dry hard either. It um, It's not sticky, whereas the Hawaiian Silky is a little bit sticky. So... I'm just using the white silky to, to moisturize, and then I'll use the smooth and shine to define. So this is how it looks right now before I start. Okay. Now I'm going to take the smooth and shine gel and put it in my hair in sections, in small sections. So just use my fingers to part it. So a small section like this. I take about that much of the smooth and shine gel and just slide it through my hair. And then take the comb. You can call it, I'm not sure if it's a brush or a comb. I think it's more of a comb. But then I just comb it through from the tips up to the roots just to get out any knots. You can see the curls starting to pop. I'll put just a little bit more. I like to get it really coated. And then I'll continue that way through my whole head. So you don't even necessarily need to use the comb. Just use your fingers. And I believe they call this a shingling method. And there you see the curls. Okay, so I'm finishing up the front of my hair now. So you see that it looks a little bit white, but that white goes away as it dries. Yeah. 
And then what I do is um, I'll sit under the dryer, the hooded dryer, under very low heat, just for a little bit so that it can dry a little faster. Sometimes I'll let it air dry as well, but it depends if I'm going somewhere after I've done it. Um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like after I put the gel in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry it. And then you just kind of use a pick comb because there, there are some parts because I have to do it in sections. So you will notice some parts. But once it's dry, I just use my pick comb to kind of get rid of those parts and fluff it up a little bit. So I will be back with that. Okay. Okay, so hair is dry now. See, no more white stuff. I'm just going to fluff it up a little bit with my pick. <laughs> 